Hi strange and charmed ones! Welcome back to my channel for another video. If you're looking at the title of this video and thinking to yourself, what is Alexis talking about? What is this thing, intentional planning? Then I've got a treat in store for you today. I know that normally on my channel we talk about planners in the terms of, you know, using them to organize tasks or to manage a schedule or to help you complete projects. But I really feel like that's only one side of planning. And although it probably is a very big side of planning, actually using your planner to plan your life and to make sure you're getting things done, I also think that planners can be a really great resource to really help you manage your mental, spiritual, and emotional well-being. So that is what I'm going to be talking about today and I'm going to be explaining to you guys this idea, this concept of intentional planning, which I can't say I've ever heard anyone say it before, so I'm just going to go out and say like I'm coining this right now, hashtag intentional planning, um, <laughs> you know, for a little bit of fun. But basically this idea that your planner can be more than just planning for productivity, but it can also be really planning to really help Help you and your mental and spiritual well-being. So that is what we're going to talk about today. So who is this video for? I really think that this video is for anyone who really wants to get more out of their planner. If you feel like you've been using your planner and you know you've got maybe the whole scheduling thing down and you have the whole like to-do list thing down but you just really feel like your planner isn't bringing you a sense of fulfillment. Um, you know not that a lot of people expect that your planner is going to fulfill you in any way. But I really do think that there's a lot of us out there who are hoping that using a planner is going to be a magic bullet to help us sort of organize our lives and solve all of our problems. And the truth is, is that, you know, it's not going to be a magic bullet unless you treat it like one. So if you are interested in figuring out, you know, finding out how you can use your planner and get more out of it and really become a happier, healthier um person all around, then this video is for you. Okay, so what am I going to be talking about in this video? I'm going to outline the things that you guys are going to learn in this video, um, so you know if you want to spend the time watching it. So the first thing you're going to learn are my five tips for approaching planning intentionally and kind of getting started with this hashtag intentional planning concept, okay? So I'm going to give you my five tips for how to get started with that. Next, I'm going to give you guys a look into a new planner that's recently hit the market called the happiness planner. Um, it's something that was sent for to me to check out and I thought it was worth it to share it with you guys. So I want to give you guys sort of an overview, like a high level review of it um, and a look into the planner to see if it's something that you think can help you with your intentional planning journey. Next, I'm also going to give you guys a first look at a new insert that I've got on my shop. It's a weekly gratitude insert that again, I've basically created this in order to help kind of solve Solve this problem for people and kind of give people a solution for how they can very easily integrate this intentional planning into their own planners if that's what they would like to do. So I'm going to give you guys a look at that insert as well today. And then finally, everybody loves a giveaway and some freebies. So I'm going to end this video with some freebies that I've got for you guys so that, you know, everyone can have a little bit of something to sort of celebrate this idea of intentional planning. Um, and I'm also going to be hosting a giveaway as well at the end. So if you're interested in any of these topics that I've talked about um, that are going to be in this video, make sure to stay tuned because it's definitely going to be filled with some really great information. Okay, so getting started with intentional planning and my five tips for really getting more out of your planner and really reaching that sense of fulfillment that you are actually achieving things throughout your day and that your days matter. So tip number one is that if you would like to get started with this intentional planning topic, you need to identify what it is that you're trying to get more of, okay? So for each of us, this is going to be different. Maybe for you, if you have a family, you want to get more quality time in with your family and really spend time with the people that matter most to you. Perhaps maybe you're more like me, and when I just started my intentional planning journey, um, I started off with the intention that I really wanted to make sure that I was prioritizing my physical health. Um, 
Um, so I wanted to make sure that I was really doing the things in a day that I needed to be doing so that I was at optimal health, uh, so that I could perform optimally, so that I'm, you know, I'm able to get all my work done, run my business, and not feel like I was exhausted by the end of the day. So that was the route that I took with my intentional planning journey. But there are a lot of different things out there. Some people just want to have, you know, a greater sense of connection to their community. Some people want to have more time to volunteer um, or spend time with their church or organizations. So really identify that area first that you really want to be doing more of and you want to be getting more from. It's really important that you know what it is that you want before you start this process or else you're really just grasping at straws. So no, tip number one, ID what it is that you want more of. Tip number two, step number two in this process is to prioritize the tasks that will fulfill whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, right? So if you're making your to-do list for the day, you wanna make sure that you're adding a task or two on there that is checking the box for accomplishing this goal that you wanna have more of, or this, you know, this value that you wanna be experiencing more of. You really need to make sure that you are putting things on your to-do list every day in order to get the most out of your days so that you're not only just getting your, your work done, but you're also making sure that you're making making progress with whatever values or intentions that you're trying to accomplish um, with your intentional planning process. The way I look at it is that these items really need to be non-negotiables for you. These are things that you want to be doing or steps that you want to be taking each and every day. So you've got to make sure that you're prioritizing those items. Tip number three is to do your task for yourself first. Um, you know, throughout our days, we get very busy. So you may make your to-do list and you may put on there one or two little things that you want to do for yourself so that you're reaching this intention that you have through your planning. Um, but if you don't prioritize it high enough and do it first um, throughout your day or make it one of the first things you do throughout your day, I really think that you're probably going to have a harder time accomplishing it as the hours pass. Now, obviously, if you're someone who may be like me, you want to improve your health, right? So you want to go to the gym when you go home, when you get home from work because that's when your time is allotted. Like maybe you've made um, an appointment to go see a coach or a trainer at a certain time when you get home, then that's fine. Obviously, you need to fit in and schedule these items where they actually make sense in your life. But for me, I knew that I needed to make sure that my workout was one of the first things that I did in the morning. So it's not the first thing I get up and do, but it's done very soon after I wake up. So if you guys have seen, I actually have a day in the life of an entrepreneur video. I will link that down below if you're interested. Um, if you want to see like what a typical workday looks like for me. But I make sure I go to the gym as early as I can in the daytime um, because it makes it harder for me to have excuses for not going. So if you're someone who knows you make excuses, try to get your task or tasks done that are really important to you as soon as you can in the morning. Um, the earlier in the day, the better. Just so that you can't, you know, you can't spend your time and give excuses for why you're not going to do it. So that is tip number three. Tip number four is to track your success. Now, I really think that it's so easy for us to forget the things that we've actually accomplished. And this is something that I'm totally guilty of. So whenever I personally go to the gym, I make sure to mark it off on a calendar that I've done it. I like have it on my to-do list. I've checked it off. I make sure that it's written somewhere that I've actually accomplished this because in a month's time, I may actually forget all the times that I went to the gym, um, but at least I can look back and see that I've actually gone um, and it kind of is like a proof for me and it's really a great motivation for me to continue moving forward. So if you're someone who is trying to fit something new into your life or you're trying to make more room or spend more time in a specific area, make sure you're tracking it. So tip number four is to make sure that you're keeping track of your success. And tip number five is to reward yourself. So whenever we are implementing new things into our lives and new routines into our day-to-day, -day, I think it's really important that we reward ourselves for the effort because it is difficult. Like it's not really easy to pick up a new habit or start a new routine. 
So the fact that you have successfully been executing your routine for a certain period of time means that I really think you need to give yourself a reward. Now, rewards are great for two reasons, I think. Number one, they really give you an opportunity to reflect on how far you've come. So they really give you a chance to sit down and look at your tracking system and say, wow, I've done a lot. I've come a long way and I'm really making progress. And number two, they really help you to keep your mind in the right place so that you want to continue with your progress. So I think rewards are a really great way to keep yourself on track with that. So those are my five tips for getting started with intentional planning. Now let's go ahead and as promised, I wanna give you guys a look into the Happiness Planner. This is a very beautiful hybrid planner. And what I mean by hybrid is, is that I feel like this is one part planner and one part wellness journal. Um, I really think that this planner does a beautiful job of incorporating planning for your day and your life with really making sure that you're prioritizing those sorts of intentional planning items that you've got going on in your life. So let me go ahead and first give you an overview of the exterior and talk about like the color options, and then I will give you a view inside. So as you can see, I've got the aqua color here. Um, this is the color that I chose, obviously, because I love aqua. Um, I would definitely say this is something more, I would call this like a light turquoise. I really do think this is a beautiful turquoise color. Um, definitely a really good mix between green and blue. Um, it's not more green and it's not more blue. I think when you see things that are more green, it looks, it's more mint. And when it's more blue, it's more robin's egg. Um, but this is a very beautiful in-between color. Um, I absolutely love it. But it also comes comes in two other colors. It comes in a pink color, which I have heard from my bestie Lisa Marie from Paper and Glam, who's also putting a review up of this planner today. Um, she got the pink one and she also got the black one. Lisa Marie said that the pink color was more of a coral, um, that it wasn't really a true pink. So just something to keep in mind. So this comes in three colors. It does come in this nice hard sleeve. So it does have its own little dedicated hard case. Very beautiful, very great quality, um, and definitely the quality of this and the experience of this planner I think is absolutely top notch. You definitely are going to be getting what you pay for with this. This is a little bit of a more pricey option for like planner journal. Um, it is about $45, but it is something that I think is really well executed. So I really think that it's money well spent. Um, and this isn't like a normal day-to-day -day planner as you'll see when we get inside of it. So I definitely think that, um, that the money would be well spent if this was a topic, this intentional planning topic is something that's important to you. So things that I really like about this, beautiful gold foiling on the outside. I'm not someone who normally likes gold, but I do think that it looks very good. Um, I happen to be like a silver person myself, but this gold is beautiful. Um, beautiful hardback design. Something I absolutely love about this physically is that the binding on this planner actually the binding is actually made to lay flat. It's actually so well done in my opinion that the binding lays perfectly flat. So you're not so that you're not breaking the binding or, you know, bending the binding on the back. It's always going to stay nice and square. I think that that's beautifully done. Um and then to mark your pages, you've got uh, just a ribbon page marker. This is more of like a, it actually looks like more of like a Kelly green color than, than the, the aqua, um, but I'm sure, you know, colorways are limited with book bindings. I can totally understand that. So um, it's nice to have that like built in bookmark and I think that's really handy as well. So great quality on the exterior, beautifully done. Um, absolutely exquisite. So let's go ahead and break into what's inside of this planner. So the inside of this planner really starts off like a book. It really walks you through what the planner is about. Um, and this whole concept of creating a happiness roadmap. So this planner is actually broken down into two sections. The first of the two sections is filled with these really helpful worksheets um, to really help you nail down and figure out what it is that makes you happy and maybe these areas in your life that you're trying to get more from. Like I talked about earlier, identifying the areas of your life where you wanna get more is so important. So I think that these worksheets are definitely geared towards that and I think that 
they're definitely going to be useful on that topic. Um, I will say that they sometimes they feel a little bit woo-woo, <laughs> if you know what I mean when I say woo-woo. Um, but to be completely honest, I have no problem with woo-woo. And I think that sometimes a little bit of woo-woo is good. And that I think a little bit can go a long way with us. So I would say that I don't think it's too over the top. Like this isn't too out there. Um, I think that it's out there enough to be inspirational, but it really does have its feet firmly on the ground. So I definitely think that uh, for most people, this is going to be relatable and that these worksheets are going to be helpful. Now, the second part of this book is basically a weekly planner uh, that goes for 100 days. And that's what I meant by saying that this is kind of a planner and it's kind of not a planner. Um, because this isn't something that you would purchase for the year and you would work in it every day of the year. This gives you 100 days for you really to execute on everything that you've learned and all of the ideas and concepts that you get from the worksheets. And I really like the approach with this planner that they're giving you 100 days. It's enough time for you to really do some serious self-improvement, um, but it's not something that feels overwhelming, like you need to be working on yourself every day, you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, and because of that, I think that this planner is really versatile, that you could really use it a number of different ways. Although the book does tell you that they, I guess they suggest that you do 100 days straight with this planner, I could really see people breaking this up and maybe doing just a week at a time, or maybe doing four weeks at a time. You know, whenever you're kind of feeling like you really really want to get more out of your life and you want to do a little bit of self-improvement, um, this is a great tool to have that you can just kind of pull out of your bookshelf and, you know, sit down with it and work on it for a week or two weeks or whatever. I don't think that most people are going to sit down and do the 100 days, although I'm sure there will be people who do. Um, and I think that there's nothing wrong with that. But I think that I really love that this planner is undated and it gives you enough time so that throughout the year you really could reach for this um, a number of times and really get benefit. Really, if you're having some low moments or some difficult periods in your time, I really like that this gives you just enough time to really work through things, but it's not something that feels overwhelming or ongoing. So let's go ahead and look at the actual inserts. Like I said, this is a day on two pages layout, but before you even get to the daily pages, at the start of each week, you kind of get this review, this weekly review, which I really love, you know, in getting things done, weekly review is so important. And so they give you these really great layouts, like just a nice two page spread uh, for your goals for the week, which I think is awesome. And I think this is a great way for you to really be intentionally planning your week um, by setting some high level goals at the start of the week. Then you get to the daily pages, which are a day on two pages. And this is really where the idea of this being a planner and a journal really come together. Because on one side of the daily pages, you've got basically a really great overview um, for your tasks and your to-dos. You've got an area for inspiring thoughts, your exercise, meals, your goals. You have a good amount of room to put scheduled items and then a good amount of room to put to-dos. And then at the bottom, you've got some summary items like good things about today and what I hope for tomorrow. So that is like the planner page. And then the alternate page to me is really more of like a journal. You've got an area for notes and an area for ideas. And at the start of each week, they give you a very nice little quote at the bottom. So I think that this notes and ideas section can be used one of two ways. You can use it like planner notes that you might have like note pages in your planner um, and just take your notes here. Or you could use it as like a dream journal. You could use it for like project life to keep track of important things that happen throughout the day that you want to make sure you move on over to your project life albums. Um, and I really think that you could you could do a lot with these pages, which is really what makes it a planner and a journal combo in my mind. And so this goes on undated for 100 days, like I said, but there really is nothing stopping you, um, you know, from doing this one week, two weeks, four weeks at a time, or you could do it the whole 100 days through. So I really think this planner is beautifully well done, very well thought out, and absolutely worth the price if you are someone who wants to work on personal development or you know, really wants to get started with this idea of intentional planning. This planner really has everything, has everything you need in it. Um, 
to get you started with that. So that is the happiness planner. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this planner, I'm going to have a link down below to where you can purchase it, as well as a link to my bestie Lisa Marie's channel, Paper and Glam, because she too is doing a review of this planner and she has the other two colors that come with the happiness planner. She has the pinky peach color and the black. Um, so definitely, definitely check out Lisa Marie's view, review as well um, if you want to see the other color options. She's also doing a giveaway of this planner as well. So I'll leave her link down below if you want to go follow up with her after this video is done. Okay, so the next item that I wanted to show you guys on this idea of intentional planning is a new weekly gratitude insert that I just put up today in my shop. So because gratitude and gratitude journaling is so important to me, I really think that it's a great way to kind of get started with this intentional planning idea if this is something that you might want to just kind of just dip your toes into. Um, or if you're someone who just really loves the idea of gratitude journaling, I really believe that gratitude journaling can really do wonders for you and your outlook in life. Um, so if this is something that's interesting to you, this is an option that you've got if you are a six ring binder person like myself. Um, so we've got this week weekly gratitude page, which is a printable, like all of the inserts on and all of the items on my shop. Everything is a printable. Um, so these inserts are a weekly undated. So you buy the file once and you can print it out and use it for the rest of your life, <laughs> um, which I think is really great, which is why I love my printables, because I think that they really are an amazing value. So at the top of this, you've got a space to put in the dates um, for the week that you are working in. You have at the top an area, a few lines where you can put in your affirmation. If you guys know anything about me, you know that I love affirmations. I think affirmations are such a wonderful way to kind of put your focus and your mind in the right place. And I really believe that having affirmations around you really helps to keep you inspired and motivated. So I've got a section for affirmations at the top. Then we've got the week broken down Monday through Sunday and areas where you can basically fill in the sentence, I am grateful. So the sentence starts, I am grateful, and then you can fill it in with whatever item you're grateful for. Um, and I just have one item per day. I know some people do like a top five gratitude list every day and some people do like gratitude journaling where they'll write like a whole page or several pages in a journal. But I really think that all you need is one, one thing to focus on the day being grateful for. So you can see here, I've got some examples. This is my last week um, using my gratitude inserts. Um, so you can get an idea of the sorts of things that someone like me would write, but obviously you're gonna write things that are applicable to you and your life. Then at the bottom, I have another really great section that says, I will show my gratitude this week by. And this area is really a space where you can fill in, in my opinion, one of two things, either something like a penance or something like a reward. Now, I tend to use this more of like a penance sort of concept, which I know may say, sound severe, but I feel like when it comes to gratitude, the whole purpose is to really help you shift your focus from maybe the bad things that are going on in your life to the good things in your life and all the things that you've got. At least for me, I feel like I'm so thankful and so grateful for the things that I have in my life um, that I try to make sure that I show that gratitude by giving of myself. So as you can see down here, I've got an example of something that I'm going to do this week. I'm going to go through my closet and find items to donate to Goodwill. So that's almost like a penance. But you could also put a reward in there. You could say, I will show my gratitude this week week by taking a nice long bath. You know, you can really play this any way that you want it, whatever works for you. Um, this is obviously a very versatile insert, but definitely if you're interested in this insert, I will of course leave a link down below where you can purchase it directly from my shop. It is available. It was just launched today. So I hope this kind of helps you guys with the concept of intentional planning and really brings you a lot of gratitude and happiness and focus on really what the important things are in your life. 
Okay, so let's start with the freebies since that's something that everybody has a chance to go get right now. Anyone can go and download these freebies that I've put together. Um, I have made a set of bookmarks for the Happiness Planner, actually two sets of bookmarks for the Happiness Planner based on the colors of the Happiness Planner. So um, I have one set that's in stripes. You guys know stripes are my favorite. So I've got one stripe set and I've got one set that's in this very pretty floral design that I've created. I think it's great for summer or really any time during the year. I mean, florals never go out of style. Very beautiful. And I've got them obviously in the three colors. The Happiness Planner comes in the turquoise aqua color, the coral, and the black. So if you're someone who's getting the Happiness Planner and you would like some very pretty bookmarks to go along with it, you can go ahead and download my set of these bookmarks. Um, they all come together in one file and then you can print them as your heart desires. You can use them as bookmarks in books or as an extra bookmark in your happiness planner. I have got a link down below to my blog. I've got a blog post going up today as well with this video and you can go ahead and download these freebies. And last but not least, I've got my giveaway for the Happiness Planner. Now, when the Happiness Planner folks were kind enough to reach out to me, they sent me an email and they said, Alexis, we'd love if you would um, review our Happiness Planner. We'd love to send you one for free for review. And I emailed them back um, promptly and said, thank you so much, but I need to make you aware of a policy that I have uh, for re receiving free goods. And that is that I never accept any free goods um, on the condition that I'm going to do a review. I just wanted to make sure you guys know that. I never do a review for a free good. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I can very easily purchase this if I was so inclined to get this. Um, I don't I don't trade my reviews and my word for free goods because to me, my word to you guys is way more valuable than whatever anyone's sending me. So um, I sent them an email back and I explained to them my policy that I do not review items um, for free goods, but if they wanted to send me the item for consideration um, with basically no strings attached to me, then um, if I got it and I liked it, I would be happy to contact them and work out, you know, some content for you guys, which is obviously what ended up happening. They ended up sending me the color of my choice um, and I looked at it, looked this over and thought, yep, I definitely want to share this with my community. It's definitely worth it. So I contacted them again and we are also doing a giveaway for two happiness planners. So two of you are going to be able to win a happiness planner, your color choice. It's totally up to you. So how do you win the happiness planner? I'm going to do this through YouTube. I know I very rarely do YouTube giveaways, but a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a giveaway on YouTube as opposed to my Instagram account, which is where I normally do my giveaways. Um, so I thought that this would be a great product to make sure that everybody who's seeing this video has a chance to win it. So these are the rules. Number one, how you enter. You need to be subscribed to my channel in order to enter. And number two, you need to leave a comment down below telling me what you think of this intentional planning concept and how you plan to integrate intentional planning into your own life, either through the happiness planner or maybe your own personal planner or even through my gratitude inserts if that was something that spoke to you. So leave me a comment down below and tell me how you are going to use and utilize this intentional planning concept. Also go ahead and let me know what color you like um, of this planner. Don't worry, it's not going to be set in stone, <laughs> but I want to get an idea of what colors you guys like of the planner, so I thought it'd be cute if you put that in your comment. A couple of housekeeping items with this giveaway. You must be 18 years of age or older to enter or have your parent or legal guardian's permission before leaving me the comment and entering in this giveaway because I am going to have to contact you and get your mailing address or at least I'm going to be putting you in contact with the happiness planner people who are going to be shipping this out directly. And finally, the Brand Mentalist, the Happiness Planner team has asked that this be open to U.S. residents only. So I'm sorry to the international folks, but this is going to be a U.S. only giveaway today. But you have my freebies that you go, you can go and get. 
immediately if you'd like. You've got some cute freebies that match a happiness planner. Um, so no one's leaving empty handed today. Now logistics wise, this giveaway is going to end in one week. I'm gonna close the entries for this on close of business Saturday, June 6th. So you guys have a week to get in. I am giving away two, like I said, I'm gonna pick two winners and Brand Mentalist, the Happiness Planner team, are going to ship you your choice of color. So make sure you leave me down below your comments if you'd like to enter for the giveaway. Of course, if you liked this video and found this video to be helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and followed me on social media at Miss Trenchcoat. And I want everybody who's got Instagram, head on over to Instagram as well. I'm gonna leave a link down below where you can follow the Happiness Planner on Instagram because if you like this planner, if you think it's beautiful, you definitely need to make sure you are following their Instagram account because they've got some beautiful styled shots of this planner. Um, so you definitely don't want to miss those. So make sure you're following the Happiness Planner as well on Instagram. Like I said earlier, Lisa Marie Paper and Glam is also doing a review of this planner today. So I'm going to have a link down below so you guys can go check that out as well um, and let her know what you think and go ahead and enter her giveaway as well. So there's lots of opportunities. Lots of these happiness planners are going to be giving, are going to be given away today. Lots of happiness is going to be spread all over the internet. And of course, last but not least, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, you guys, bye bye